very surreal. I mean, yeah. I, 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 I struggle sometimes to see how I got to this point because I've only ever really wanted to write songs that I like and play shows that I enjoy. And it's yeah, sort of, yeah. it's, it's snowballed to be on a, beyond a point of anyone's every everyone including myself and including my management and including the general public everyone is kind of like oh how did that happen you know, every, <laughs> everyone <laughs> well, my favorite is that little picture you put on recently of you as a little boy wearing the ipswich town football shirt and then you put this bloke is the new sponsor of ipswich town <laughs> football club do well and i just think that picture is so cute and it sums up exactly what you're saying like yeah. you never know as a kid sat there on the little bench in your football shirt that what's going to happen uh, there's basically my uh, first football team that I played for, Framlingham Town FC. They contacted me saying, would you sponsor the girls under 11 team and buy their kit? So I did that. <laughs> and then I got to thinking, oh, I wonder if Ipswich ever would need a sponsor. They were currently sponsored by a betting club that the fans weren't like overly keen on. But yeah. still, it was like it was like a good revenue stream for the for the club. Um, and that was just coming to an end. So I asked and um, they agreed, which was cool. And I feel, you know, the, the the news came out the same time of the European Super League. It was like the, around the same oh, yeah. same weekend. And I feel like the, the two things were like as opposite as you could get. <laughs> like really, 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 really rich people owning these clubs wanting more money. And then just like, like uh, gra- <laughs> grassroots football. Because it, Ipswich, are in, Ipswich are in League One. It's not, it's not televised. It is just people going to football because they love football yeah yeah and they're like local town and stuff well what, yeah. what a wonderful thing to be able to do um we've of course need to talk to you about all kinds of other stuff but let's just play the new song yeah. could you introduce it for us ed sheeran your song on kmfm that would be wonderful hey this is ed sheeran on kmfm and this is my new single bad habits it's KMFM Breakfast with Gary and Laura and our most specialist of special guests today, uh, Ed Sheeran, is with us. Now, we've talked a lot about music and movies and stuff like that, uh, but, of course, the other big thing, as Laura mentioned earlier on, uh, that has changed in your life is now uh, your daddy. So yeah. how how's being daddy? I've got to say, yeah, you look Sheeran. pretty fresh-faced <laughs> for the daddy of a new baby. Well, fairly new. I mean, what, a year... Uh, in August, I mean, it's gone really quick. Yeah, uh, she's ten. End. She's ten. Actually, mate, she's ten months today. She's ten oh! months today. Oh! Oh! Happy ten month birthday, Lyra! Oh, wow, amazing. <laughs> oh, um, that's lovely. Yeah, she's. Uh, it's it's. Great. I feel like I'm. People say I look better, but I just looked dreadful before. <laughs> I was really, really unhealthy. I was smoking, binge drinking, binge eating, not sleeping. I mean, ironically, I sleep more now than I was wow. sleeping before, like before, and and now is not like. As your 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 parents, right? Like it's not a lot of sleep, so um, it's uh, I feel great, man. She's she's fantastic. Everything's wholesome, and uh, yeah, it's just a routine. It's just a routine. She's actually having her nap right now. Oh, which, this is which good. Is why, um, the interviews were scheduled ten thirty to twelve thirty because that's when she has her. her nap. Oh, oh we're the brilliant! Nap this is yeah. great. Yeah, and sorry. The thing is, Ed, you say you guys are parents. Well, not yet, but in two months' time, I'm literally due to have my first baby on the twenty seventh of baby August. As well. Yeah, hey. is that the, her birthday? Twenty eighth, she is. She twenty eighth yeah. of August. So I'm due on the twenty seventh of August. So it could be Lyra's first birthday. Who knows if the baby's a day late? Oh, have you amazing. got any anything you can help me with, like a top tip or a favorite lullaby or what's um, going to happen? Because it's a whole new I, world to me. Don't beat yourself up about anything. What I've worked out from, I've had a few parents, few friends that become parents and I looked at them when Lyra was born like, oh my God, they're like so good. They must have read all the books and done. And everyone starts off at the same place and everyone, okay. like no one, <laughs> no one truly knows what they're doing. And you just get into your own rhythm of it and your, your own routines and don't, don't beat yourself up about getting things wrong, basically. Okay, cool. Oh, that's good advice. Thank you. I like yeah, that. Yeah, that brilliant. Nice. <laughs> um, and are you into any particular, uh, you know, of the the shows that are just sort of colours and noises uh, that you watch with her? Is, is she hitting YouTube up? We, no, we've <laughs> done, we've done we've done no screens um, just wow. because I. G- someone said to me if you avoid screens with your kid obviously there's all the benefits of of them not being on screens but if you travel and they start tantruming that's when you bring the screen out and that's when and that's when it works that's yeah that's when it really works so we do a lot of um i've got like uh uh just 
musical stuff maracas um uh tambourines all of that stuff oh. uh my uh friend johnny actually bought her a baby loop station so kind of like the thing <laughs> i use that she can do do, do, do stuff yeah. with this is amazing yeah. Yeah. what's her favorite song that you sing to her what does she absolutely love when you get the maracas out what does she ask for do you know actually so bad habits plays now and she like waves her hands about and, and claps. It's really, I mean, she must have heard it so many times because yes. I have so many pictures of it, but she actually really digs <laughs> it, which is good. So, yeah, that. That's your new harshest to most important critic, I think, going forward. Absolutely. Uh, and what about a remix of Baby Shark? Is that on the cards any, <laughs> any I'm time? Kind of, I'm uh, so I did a, I wrote a song with an Australian artist called Amy Shark, and um, she then. <laughs> She sent Lyra a load of Baby Shark merch, so oh, we've, we've actually got we've actually got loads and loads of Baby Shark stuff here. That's great. So, uh, wait, we're waiting for that. Oh, oh brilliant! Well, wonderful. Well, look, um, we know you're very busy, and you're on to the next one. And uh, we just want to thank you for your time, as always. Thanks. Thank for, you so uh, much, guys. Thank just, you. Just sparing a few minutes for us. Mate, we really appreciate it. We cannot wait to hear the rest of uh, the forthcoming album, whatever oh, yeah. it might be called. Absolutely. And, uh, uh, well, just to keep on this journey with you. It's an amazing thing. Thank, Thank you, you for so giving much. us your time at KMFM. It's Ed Sheeran, everybody. Yay. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you.